Hey there, potential models and others who are wanting to learn a few tips on how to take a nice picture. My name is Jill Billingsley and I just want to show all of you the few things I know about modeling. I think I'm a good person to kind of get a little bit of the information from and since I'm a slightly larger body type for an average model, I know I'm perfectly healthy, but uh, I think that also helps me find problem solving techniques for other body types. So uh, the first thing you have is portrait modeling or beauty modeling. Because I am shorter, that is kind of the genre I fall into, that are commercial modeling. And it's basically just a headshot and usually headshots kind of crop wherever your hair ends unless you have extremely long hair but usually right around chest level, give or take a couple inches. And it's kind of the very first thing you should know. It should be the lead photo in your portfolio if you're creating a printed portfolio. So the few tips I have about beauty shots is this is like my very classic pose where you're completely side profile and I'm wearing like a workout outfit, so don't judge that. And you want to always elongate your neck. So because my hair was making a line there, scoot it over to the other side. That way you can see the longest part of my neck. You're gonna want to learn your angles. You could try to do that in front of the mirror, but uh, I kind of think it's better if you're doing it on the computer and you do little freeze frames or a flash every five seconds. But basically there's a few really subtle things you can do to start off. The very first pose I always do is over the shoulder. This is kind of like your very classic pose. And if you're worried about all those wrinkles that happens from turning your head around, see right there, I just dropped my shoulder, took them all away. Even if there was some, because this is a good look, really concern you if it's somebody else taking the photos. I mean, if it's just you, then yeah, you see that and you'll either want to fix it afterwards or just pose through it. You can raise your shoulder. That's one pose. Medium, two pose, lower, three pose. When I'm in front of the camera, I have hooded eyes. You know, like kind of sleepy bedroom eyes. So it's automatic for me to lift my eyebrows. It makes me feel like a more elegant, more poised, a little more attractive. If I was going for commercial, I would leave them lower. Not sure every, what that applies to everyone, but it's something I do. And uh, back to the main pose. So for beginner models, this is best spot to start. You don't want to get stuck in a rut, but inevitably, I think all models do. They all kind of go through a cycle of poses, unless there's a specific theme or emotion you're trying to get. But you know, you want to kind of start here, and this will give you your three fourths. You can. I kind of go between a few variations of emotions, but uh, you know, there's, there's sexy with your lips parted, uh, breathing out of your mouth slightly, eyebrows kind of lifted, uh, your eyes interacting with the camera. Tyra calls it a smize, but I refuse to do that. I call it like a cute glare. So, and I make like the noises just to emphasize what I'm doing. If you close your mouth and open your eyes wider rather than like the intense look, then you have innocence. If you look up into the corner, it's like more angelic, it's more innocent. And um, smirk, now you're like back into kind of cute, sexy, playful. I smirk with the opposite side and I don't know why I can't do it on both. Uh, you have commercial, same angle. <laughs> Some problem that I've been seeing in uh, models that I kind of train a little bit is that the camera goes and it's like, pow, pow, pow. I mean, they're not nailing the poses, but they feel the urge to do something so dramatic and it's not necessary. You can just float in this same pose, the starter pose, and go through those few expressions, you know, sexy, inquisitive, like anything you can think of. Uh, sultry, I don't know why, but I always bring my hand up here, like Queen of England style. And then keep your face here, 
play with your shoulder. You have forward. Let's see if I can get a better one. And I'll hunch it all the way forward. If it doesn't look right to you, a lot of the time the photographers can kind of walk around and figure out where that prime spot is. But uh, it's all about feeling. I let my hands slide down my shoulder when I model. And really the slower the better. Just so there's feeling brought in and so it's more natural. Cause some people get stuck and they get like claw hands. But you know, you have forward, back. If you want to angle it out, my hand's on my hip right now, I'm just sitting down. Then it gives you a chance to pop it forward, pop it back, and that changes it up in your back a little bit. And really my face is in the same spot the whole time. Dead on, three-fourths. And when you start this way, it gives you a chance to hit all the angles. You have completely side profile, and I'm sure my bangs will cut it off. Three-fourths, almost all the way, dead on. Just to know those points, you have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, basically. Gives you seven different options of the pose right away, just based on the angles. You don't need to change the face yet. And then each of those have probably about, you know, six, seven different things you can do with your face in between like little smirk, big smile, open teeth smile, uh, glare with your eyes. There's angry, uh, not everybody pulls it off so well, but or like uh, you're hurt and confused. Basically just, you know, whatever emotions you can think of, you can kind of play up, but doing it in those angles with the shoulder forward, back, uh, this is kind of regular for me, but my hand's on my hip. So this is neutral, forward, back. The further back it goes, the more slender somebody with big arms like me the effect it's going to have. So it's a nice kind of thing to know if you've got the larger muscular arms. Other things you can do. If I'm doing three-fourths, which is generally what I do, don't know why, all you need is to change your eyes. You can do it look up. If I look all the way up, it's going to have too much whites in my eyes. So you always want to look maybe two inches above the camera or if you have a light there at the very bottom of the light. If I had a partner here and I had to look right at him completely to my side, I wouldn't because you're only gonna see, that. that's what that would be, you're only gonna see the whites in my eye. So I'm gonna cut that in half and look where I would turn my head for three fourths. Halfway between 90, you know, 45 degree angle. Even if I'm looking at my partner, cause that way you can see that my iris and the detail in my eye and through camera magic, it just kind of works out while you still maintain the best image that you can pull off while interacting with the partner. But uh, what else? Okay, look over the camera. You can look down, but a lot of people look straight to the ground. And once you do that, looks like your eyes are closed. So if you look down, you're going to half it. Whatever you think, all the way down, and then whatever feels comfortable, straightforward, put it in half. 45 degree angle downwards is how you're gonna elegantly look down and I hope it seems like a lot of talking but I'm trying to get all of the information I can out on the very first take so what else is there see it just happens so naturally for me but, um, a lot of people feel like stuck with their hands they're not sure what to do with their hands. I will put it usually somewhere. If you put it right out like this, this is really sharp angle. So it seems really unnatural. But if you just tilt the head, so there's so all the lines are kind of in the same direction, then it seems more natural. I bring my hands across my cheek because it, it feels a little more unnatural, but it looks more elegant. And then right here, I'm bringing both sh shoulders forward. It's gonna make me look a little larger until that hand comes there. So there's something to kind of take away the awkwardness of my body and it all kind of works out. The other hand, it's under me. That way, if you have nice nails for a beauty shot, you want your hands played into the photo as much as possible. Uh, there's 